Meet rheumatism, a broad term for describing pain and inflammation in joints, muscles, and connective tissues. The term originated from the Greek word rheumos, signifying fluidity or infiltration. Rheumatism doesn't discriminate. It can affect one joint or one area of the body. Conditions like gout, repeated stress injury, frozen shoulder, and carpal tunnel syndrome fall under this category. Then we have diseases that affect more than one joint, like fibromyalgia, causing pain, sleep issues, and fatigue. Infectious arthritis, a sudden inflammation caused by bacterial or viral infection, can lead to permanent joint damage. We also have lupus, an immune disease that attacks joints and tissues causing damage. And the most common form arthritis, associated with advanced age and cartilage damage. Rheumatism is a broad term that encompasses a wide array of rheumatoid diseases. However, in common parlance, when people refer to rheumatism, they are usually referring to rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system goes rogue, attacking the body's own joints and causing damage. The exact causes of rheumatic diseases are still under investigation by scientists. However, Several potential causes have been identified. These include acute inflammation as seen in rheumatic fever and gout, violent injuries directly to the joint, or injuries from the treatment of purulent foci and dental roots, nasal sinuses, throat appendages, and more. Rheumatic diseases can be chronic, clinging on after acute inflammation and causing permanent changes in tissue structure. There are two types of rheumatic diseases, atrophic rheumatism, characterized by inflammation and degenerative changes in joint structures, and hypertrophic rheumatism, where degenerative changes result in the formation of bony spinal appendages inside the joint. Both types of rheumatic disease can lead to deforming arthritis, a deformation in the appearance and structure of the joint. Common triggers for these chronic types include constant exposure to atmospheric fluctuations, mental disorders, and dysfunction of endocrine secretions. Joint diseases may be limited to a single joint, or may include multiple joints. Some are limited to causing a defect in the joint structures, while others may extend beyond these structures to destroy the tissues surrounding the joint. Rheumatism encompasses an assortment of conditions characterized by inflammation and pain in the joints, muscles, and fibrous tissue. The symptoms of these rheumatoid diseases can manifest in different parts of the body. Common symptoms include joint soreness, swelling, particularly around the joints, muscle, and joint stiffness, and difficulty in movement, particularly during the initial hour of the day. Other symptoms include overheating and reddening of the joints, fatigue, a general feeling of malaise, fever, and weight loss. These symptoms, however, vary based on the specific rheumatoid disease. For instance, lupus causes rashes and skin symptoms. Rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks the body's joints, causes joint inflammation, stiffness, and pain leading to joint degeneration and deformation. The disease affects multiple joints simultaneously, particularly the knees, wrists, and hands. Lupus erythematosus, a chronic autoimmune disease, causes inflammation in all parts of the body as the immune system attacks various body tissues. It can result in tissue damage and is considered a life-threatening disease, with severity varying among individuals. Scleroderma a condition that results from an accumulation of collagen in the body leads to skin and connective tissue hardening diet. In severe cases, scleroderma may lead to hardening of blood vessels and internal organs, a form known as systemic scleroderma, affecting movement and causing discomfort. Sclerosing spondylitis, or ankylosing spondylitis, is a form of joint inflammation targeting the spine's bones, causing chronic stiffness and movement restriction. Gout results from uric acid accumulation in the body, forming uric crystals in the skin and joints, causing pain, redness, and swelling. 
especially in the big toe. Psoriatic arthritis is characterized by swollen fingers, nail separation, tendon inflammation, polyneuropathy, and lower back pain. Infectious arthritis is triggered by bacterial, viral, or fungal infections, causing the immune system to simultaneously attack the infection in joints, leading to swelling and joint damage. Reactive arthritis is the body's response to an infection elsewhere in the body, often following salmonella or chlamydia infections. It typically causes lower body and spine arthritis, resulting in redness, swelling, and pain in the affected joints. Rheumatism, a group of conditions marked by inflammation or pain in the connective tissues, can be diagnosed through various methods. Diagnostic tests vary, but may include X-rays, MRI scans, CT scans, blood count examination, antibody screening, rheumatoid factor check, uric acid examination, and joint fluid analysis. Complications of rheumatism can include diabetes, depression, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, memory problems, osteoporosis. Treatment of rheumatism varies, but can include immunosuppressants, steroids, anti-rheumatoid drugs, OTC painkillers, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen.